You know, they probably that thing out of scrap from the Cosmodrome. It's lucky that it managed to work as well as it did. What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Sky Destiny video and in today's video I bring you guys my Nightfall looting results for the past week. Now getting straight into the video and on my Hunter I got 5 free of coins, what a damn surprise. As you can see Doug117 got 310 Rune Wings, these are exotic Titan Gauntlets offering 51 intellect and 50 strength. Kill switch got the Panta Ray Legendary Fusion Rifle offering 287 attack. This was a void weapon. Mods were improved accuracy while airborne and increases the reload speed of this weapon when the magazine is empty. Moving on to my Titan and I got the Panta Ray Legendary Fusion Rifle but mine was solar and its mods were Reloading this weapon gets a brief period of bonus accuracy and this weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Castralist got their Havoc Pigeon with 290 attack and offering Arc Burn. Mods were aiming this weapon increases its effective range and precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload speed. Kill Switch got the Bog Wild Hunter Gauntlets offering 292 defense, 45 intellect and 45 discipline. Mods were increased grenade throw distance and increases the reload speed of hand cannons. Moving on to my Warlock and I got an exotic heavy weapon, the Thunderlord. Gutted though that this thing was only a 290 attack, but hey, at least it's an exotic. Uh, Seaberg got the Type 0 Titan Helmet, offering 293 defense, 49 intellect, and 48 discipline. Mods gain bonus energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness, and shields start recovery immediately after orb pick up. Blink got the last BMJ 46 Dead Orbit Rocket Launcher offering void and 287 attack. Mods on this bad boy were increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty and kills with this weapon grant a brief burst to the sprint's top speed. So this week's rewards were not amazing but I did get an exotic weapon. My first exotic drop since the Taken King from a Nightfall. Now on my previous three Nightfall videos, I have been complaining like a little bitch, but at the end of the day, that complaining bite us all onto how Nightfall rewards have become pointless seems to have paid off. Luke Smith tweeted out last week saying Nightfall rewards will be improving. And last night Bungie tweeted this out at 10 a.m. PDT on Tuesday the 20th of October, Destiny players will be asked to log in again upon returning to orbit to download a patch. You'll want to save your nightfall until you download it. And they also tweeted this out right here on the screen now. So it does look as though all our complaining has worked and nightfalls will become relevant to run each week again. But yeah guys, like the tweet says, do not run this week's nightfalls until the time shown on the tweet. If you are watching this video later in the day, post patch and have random nightfalls, let me know if you've noticed any difference in rewards. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you got from last week's nightfalls down below in that comment section. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.